Hi, Robert here. In this exercise, we're going to look at material takeoffs, and these are basically used for estimating and, and construction labor costs. So, the first thing we want to do, we want to go to the View tab, and let's go to Schedules, and we'll to pick up Material Takeoff. So, once you have this schedule open, um, we want to change the name here um, to the Masonry Takeoff. Just highlight that and go okay. And then we want to highlight structural framing and press OK. Now, once we have that, we got these fields that we can select here for framing. So let's go and start adding these fields. I would like to go with mark here. Let's then take on type. Bring that volume. Material area. Cut length. Length. Yeah, we get length in there. Yep. So these, this could be a good template for you guys to use if you're ever doing this. Uh, structural people. I'm doing a lot of structural videos lately because structure and architecture are pretty good in, in Revit because basically it's an architectural program, really. So now once we're here, we've got all of our fields in. Let's go and click on Calculate Value. This is what this F of X would be. So you just select that button. And then we want to go and create a, um, a value. And we'll call this Masonry Cost. And the discipline is common. The number, and then we will select this little button right here, and we'll select volume. We'll click OK. Now we have our volume selected, and then our formula. That's part of our formula. So once we have the volume, we just go one over one, volume over one cubic feet, times zero point zero three seven parentheses. This whole thing should be in parentheses. Let's add one on that end. And then we multiply that by 75. Times 75. So basically what well, this what this means here, these are volume units are in cubic feet. The cost of concrete was just the 75, and the old, the 0.037 here, that converts cubic feet to cubic yards. You can change that around, but that's what we're working with here. And so we'll go and then uh, press OK. 
and then we'll go back into our calculated values. Here we'll go with rebar count. Formula, again, common, number, and then we'll select our little button here, and then we'll go with highlight cut length. Say OK. Now, we want to enter the formula here. We'll have one foot times 12 divided by 18. We'll press OK. Next, we'll go into our filter tab. And we'll filter by mark equals, or we'll say contains, and we'll say minus B minus based on the marks in our project. Okay, now. Let's go over to sorting and grouping. Here we want to sort by structural material. It'll be ascending. We'll take a footer here. And we want to itemize, itemize every instance, and that's OK. Next, we want to highlight mark. We want to go into formatting and we'll highlight with mark highlighted already. Uh, we'll go in the heading is horizontal. Okay, we can go vertical or whatever, but we go in horizontal. Uh, alignment is center. Next, we'll highlight type. And we'll have alignment of center again for this one. It'll select volume. We'll center this alignment as well. Now let's go pick up a material area. And we'll change this heading right here just to area. Okay, and then we want to change this alignment to center. Now here, let's select our field format. We want to untick project settings. We want that in square feet. And for rounding, Let's go to two decimal places. And let's say OK. Now the next thing on the line, on the list here, let's go to cut length. We want to align this to center. Field format for cut length. We want to detach that. We don't want to use project settings. We're going to round this off to the nearest one sixteenth of an inch. And we'll say OK. Let's go down the length. Same thing here. We want to center that. And our field format as well. 1 16th of an inch. And we'll press OK. Now, let's go down and let's select our count. 
we want to align this to the center again. Now, next thing we, we need to do here is uh, go and highlight our structural material. Now, our structural material, we can change the heading here to just material. If you want, it really, well, it kind of matters and it doesn't matter really. So we want to align this to center. Okay. Now, we have that done. Now let's go to the formatting tab here. We're still in the formatting tab. And let's highlight masonry cost. So we want to align, set this alignment to the left. Yeah, we'll leave that set to the left since it's a price. And then we'll go to our field format here. Want to untick that box. And then our units are going to be currency. We're going to round this off to two decimal places. I guess we all know why. And we'll set our symbol to dollar sign. And we'll press OK. And then here, we want to select calculate totals. Let's go down to our rebar count. This is horizontal. We want to align this to center. And then we go into our field format for rebar account. Uncheck this. Uh, if we want to set our units here to fixed. We want to go to zero decimal places and we'll say OK. Now let's go into appearance tab. Here we want to use thin lines for our grid lines. Outline, we'll go with thin line as well. We can change these to, let's just make this wide lines for outline if you want. Just to make it, this is pretty much you can do whatever you want here. So for the uh, header text, I'm going to say eighth inch um, area. For the body text, I'll go. Uh, let's keep it at 8th inch. And that's basically it. And we'll say, um, OK. And there's our schedule. There's our costs, per, you know, and the lengths, the areas. So Thank you for watching this video. Uh, we'll continue on with more schedules and more Rivet Navisburg training. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers we have, the more videos. And comments, please. Thanks again for watching, and have a good day. Bye.